We're going to practice the area model for division. Now remember, an area model is number one. It's an open e array. Number two, since it's an array, it's in the shape of a rectangle. And number three, the open array area model is also just a form of partial quotients. So we're going to use all the same strategies we used for the partial quotients in the division bracket for the area model. Let's get started with 348 divided by three. Draw this model on your table. You need a rectangle. Underneath, we're going to label it 348 because the total area of this rectangle is 348 units, square units. We're going to divide it by 3. Now remember, in partial quotients, we look for multiples of the divisor that get us close to the dividend. So we want multiples of 3 that get us close to this dividend, 48. And you can probably see right away that 300 is a pretty big multiple of 3. And it gets us very close to 348. And it's a friendly multiple because it's just multiplying 3 times 100 to get that 300. Okay, now we need to know what's left over to find the next chunk of the dividend. So to do that, we're going to subtract the 300 from 348, which gives us 48. Now I know if I do three times 10, I'm gonna get really close to 48. Oops, I put it in the wrong place though. Three times 10 is gonna give me 30. And if I subtract 30, I have 18 left. And if I go to my handy dandy multiplication chart, I can see I can get that final chunk of 18 by multiplying 3 times 6. If I add my partial quotients and subtract that last chunk of 18 to get my 0, I can see that my final quotient is 116. So this is just another way to perform the partial quotient strategy. Let's try another one together. Here we have a total area of 1,284 square units in this rectangle. We're going to divide it by the divisor 12. So get your area model set up on your table. We need a large rectangle this time. Now we have a two digit divisor here. I do not want you to divide your rectangle into tens and ones here for division that is not necessary. Leave it open. Okay, we're looking for multiples of 12 that are going to get us very close to 1,284. And you might see a 12 there and the 12 there. And we're going to use actually the same factor as we did for the previous problem. I know if I multiply 12 times 100, I will get 1,200, which is a very large chunk of 1,284. I'm going to subtract the 1,200. That gives us 84 left over to deal with. Now, I'm under 100 here, and this is multiples of 12. That's a pretty good indicator that I should just look at my multiplication chart. And if I look at my handy-dandy multiplication chart, I see that 12 times 7 gives us that 84. So we're going to subtract that final chunk of 84, because you can see we've used up the entire area of the area model, and we zero it out. We add our partial quotients, 100 plus 7 gives us a quotient of 107. All right, let's try one more together. In our final example, 
we're going to divide 2,480 by the divisor 40. Now, if you look to your multiplication chart and you look at multiples of 4, you'll see 24. And you'll see that 4 times 6 is 24. So what this means is 40 times 6 is going to give us 240. And, but we want to get to 2,400. So we need one more power of 10. We're going to go with 40 times 60 to get to 2,400. So we can see 2,400 is a very large chunk of 2,480. So our first partial quotient is 60, because 40 times 60 is 2,400. So we're going to subtract 2,400 from the dividend, 2,480. This leaves us with 80 for our final chunk of the dividend, and we know that two groups of 40 will give us 80. Let's subtract that last bit to get to zero. When we're at zero, we know we're done. We just add the partial quotients. 60 plus 2 gives us 62. So 2,480 divided by 40 gives us the quotient 62.